Hey, it's Sickboy from the Gaming Anarchist Collective, and due to subscriber requests and marking our 100th video, we'll see the return of the Anarchic Eye. Now, this is going to be much more regularly than it was done in the past, and we'll try and get this done every day, or at least every couple of days, to cover the key news points, because when it was doing it before, we are doing it once a week or even longer, and the stories were no longer stories, or they progressed, or they weren't particularly of interest, because people already heard them. Also, by the time it came to the Dickheads video, you know, this can be a month and sometimes six weeks between making these videos, and so again, using that as a way to, to pass the news on to you guys seems kind of pointless. So, we're going to return with this kind of format. So, myself can be doing this and occasionally filling in. Mr. Sam will hopefully be coming in to cover the days that I can't manage, so we can make sure that everyone is appraised with the stories as they turn up. So, let's get that ball rolling. Well, first up is the strange case of Dark Matter. This is a title from Interweave Studios that was launched on GOG and Steam a few days ago and has since been pulled from sale on Steam and GOG were offering full refunds. Why? Because the game turns out to be episodic and wasn't advertised as such. This game comes from a failed Kickstarter where they only managed to make a fraction of the money they actually needed and they managed to find the funding elsewhere and have brought it to digital platforms. Originally it was going to be a $30 game which it is no longer. Now, the CEO originally said that it was just a matter of confusion and, and people, it was clear. And then, of course, they, they conceded the fact that they didn't actually tell anybody that it was an episodic game. So people bought this game, got to the end and found the To Be Continued screen. A black screen with To Be Continued. Let the buyer beware. Now, it's currently not for sale on Steam, and GOG have said it is now an episodic game and are offering you a refund if you bought the game prior to them advertising it as episodic. Frankly, this is some shoddy, shifty business practices. They should be damn ashamed of themselves. You can't defend this on the grounds that it was a misunderstanding. You did not sell it as an episodic title. You didn't. And then people were playing your game, they got to the end and just got a black screen and to be continued. That is bullshit and is not acceptable. You really need to fix that quickly before your new little IP here just gets completely and utterly drowned in a quagmire of media shit. Right, this one's a few days old. I decided to hold off on doing a rant on it because everyone and their mother was, and frankly I don't feel like jumping on bandwagons, but for those who aren't aware, I want to make this story available. Now, day one, Gary's Incident. It's a game by Wild Game Studios, and it's terrible. It is, by all accounts, a piece of crap. Um, first person survival esque game, but he's meant to be. It looks like it's riddled with AI problems. Terrible, just terrible, terrible title. Everyone is panning it. Now, Total Biscuit did a video, uh, did a W2F is, and panned it. Completely panned it, as is his want as a critic. They then, Wild Game Studios, came back, pulled the video from his channel, put a copyright strike on his account, claiming it was copyright infringement for his video. Now, I will link to his original video because there's no point in me describing the situation. He did it perfectly lucidly. Now, I don't really care if you dislike Total Biscuit. I know a lot of people find his manner to be caustic, and that's fine, that's your, that's your perception. However, you do need to bear in mind that they gave him review code. They did give him review code. He then did it and has monetized it. They're claiming it's illegal for him to have monetized it, yet other videos have been monetized of this title. So frankly, they are just butthurt and trying to harm a critic who didn't like their title. Again, doesn't matter what you think about Total Biscuit. Fact of the matter is, the Wild Game Studios are shifty, illegal, creepy fucks, and you should all be aware of that. And if you haven't heard already, do not buy day one Gary's Incident unless you want to laugh at something dreadful Absolutely fucking awful. And even so, do you really want to pay somebody that shifty any money for their behaviour? Frankly, I don't. They're not going to penny off me. And unless they deal this situation out, they should be dead in the water. Because that is not how anyone should act. It's absolutely fucking disgraceful. And they should be ashamed of themselves. Right, it was reported a few days ago that the PlayStation 4 will be retailing at 1850 US dollars in Brazil, which is a terrible, terrible damn price. People in that region being absolutely stung and furious about that price. Furious at Sony for that price. Now, Sony came back today 
and they have decided to defend themselves, which is their prerogative, to say that that price is terribly high, they feel it is going to harm the PlayStation brand, and they have stated that it is down to a 63% import tax as put on the product by the Brazilian government. Now that is some severe taxation going on there. That is really bad, and I have deep sympathy for gamers in Brazil who are getting stung by this. That is absolutely bloody awful. I feel terribly sorry for you. There's Sony's response. They're sorry. They know it's going to hurt them. Look at your government. They're the ones who are putting the import tax in place. It is an unfortunate situation, and the only people that benefit are the fat cats who are going to rake in that tax and probably put it to no damn good use in the first place. Well, Respawn have finally announced when they're going to be releasing Titanfall. Titanfall, the <coughs> Xbox One exclusive, which is coming out also on the Xbox 360, as well as the PC at the same time. Not entirely sure what they were talking about there by saying it's an exclusive. That is a fucking lie. What it is is actually an exclusive that it is exclusive to Xbox over PlayStation. That's true. Anyway, but I digress. That is now coming out in March, March the 11th in the US, March the 13th in the EU, and bafflingly March the 14th in the UK. Presumably that very small stretch of water is, is causing an extra day's delay because we don't have aeroplanes or digital content. This content of, of staggered release, of content that is available digitally, if I could buy it on Steam... Why can't I buy it on Steam on the US? Why do I have to be handcuffed and buy it, have it a day later? I mean, I'm not going to, frankly, because I don't trust bloody Origins. So I don't want that on my machine. So frankly, not going to buy it. That's my prerogative. If you choose to buy it, that's your own thing. So this potential killer app, which is a potential killer app for the Xbox over the PlayStation to people who are big fans of FPS, multiplayer FPSs, it is coming out. It is coming out in March, which is probably going to coincide with a lot of the actual secondary launch markets because, of course, the Xbox One is not going to be available in most markets in November when it actually launches internationally on the, what, the whatever the dozen markets that it's actually coming out in. Okay, well, Fox have announced there will be a new Aliens game. Now, for those of you who bought Aliens Colonial Marines and are, and are still probably crying about it, uh, cautious optimism? Well, let's wait and see. Now, it's going to be called Alien Isolation. It's going to follow the story of Ripley's daughter, and it's said to be somewhat in the feel of Bioshock. So, when I, they say that, I'm kind of hoping when they say, Bi uh, they say Bioshock, what they mean is horror elements, limited ammunition, as per the original Bioshock, but no fucking magical powers, please. Just a survival horror FPS would be delightful. Now, it is not being managed by Gearbox. It is not being developed by Gearbox. Gearbox are nowhere near it. So that is a sigh of relief until you realise that the people making this are Creative Assembly, whose last game being Total War Rome 2. Those of you who are PC gamers will know that that game was a bug-riddled mess. Only coming out a few weeks ago, it is getting patch after patch to fix its dreadful fucking AI and is arguably the worst game in the Total War franchise. To the point where, if you are a PC gamer, you enjoy Total War, you're probably playing Total War Medieval 2 far more than you're playing Rome. Or anything, hell, Medieval 1, Shogun 1, you know, whatever. So, that is a bit of trepidation there, a bit worried, see what comes out of that. It might be, finally, a good alien game. Now, in, in obviously, compared to Colonial Marines, the previous Alien vs Predator game was a masterpiece. Um, it's not, but it's certainly far better than what we have now. Uh, I remember playing Alien Trilogy back on the PlayStation 1. That was an enjoyable title. Actually, was quite intensely scary, frankly. There were moments that even though with its cheesy old graphics and stuff, Face Huggers jumping up on your face was a damn good title. The original Aliens um, vs Predator was a good title as well. It's nice if we can actually have a good Aliens title, whether it will be canonical, whether it will be good, whether it will make any sense, whether Hicks will just finally, fucking appear out of nowhere. Oh, sorry, I'm not even going to talk about the Hicks situation. And it, um, do you know what? Yeah. No spoiler alert. Colonial Marines, Hicks is still alive. Because fucking reasons. 
not even going to go into that. But anyway, it exists. It is a thing. Keep a close eye on it. See if it looks promising. But I'm not going to be dancing around and excited quite yet. I'm going to be very, very cynical given the heap of shit we have just been sold. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. You've been looking through the 2020 vision of the Anarchic Eye. And I'll catch you guys later.